Hey everyone, today I'm doing a quick little video comparison between these two particular releases of the Diamond Select Toys Art Asylum Star Trek ship collectibles. And today here to the left I've got the USS Excelsior, just recently released, compared to the USS Enterprise, and this is the first release of the Enterprise B. And I just had a fellow collector ask to do a request to showing the um, some of the differences between the sculpting and the color color schemes on both of the ships. Uh, so let's get started. Right off the bat, the Enterprise B has more of a darker color base coat compared to the Excelsior. It's more of a darker style of gray, while the Excelsior is more of a lighter gray, like a whitish mix to it, which would be I think I believe film accurate I, when I looked at the Excelsior in Star Trek 3 or even in the Undiscovered Country it seemed like it had a more of a lighter base coat to it so that would be I believe film accurate the other thing I noticed uh, you don't have these red these uh, red box hatch paint apps on the Excelsior compared to as you can see all along here the major difference is right around the bridge area on the on the Enterprise B you have this gray molding on here compared to the Excelsior you don't have that but the the color scheme is a bit different as well around the bridge area other thing I noticed right by the crystals here a little bit different as far as the molding as well this one does not have anything in the middle and there's there's also these two fins right on the sides of the the crystal on both sides of the crystals are right on top of that impulse deck as well so those are the, some of the moldings that are a bit different compared to the Enterprise B which does not have that the other one you can noticeably see that there's an extra two impulse engine decks on the B and Excelsior only has the two so yeah that's pretty much the the big difference is as far as the moldings on top of the saucer section. Moving on to the nacelles, you do have a bit of a difference as far as the the front part of the nacelle. As you can see on the Enterprise B, there's more of a larger style molding, and there's kind of this fin on the top here compared to the Excelsior, which is just more has a more of a kind of plain look. There's none of that molding app on the front as well as no fin on the front as, w as well and if you go back down on this area like the strong back area are pretty much identical there's not too much of a difference maybe the color scheme is a bit different but as far as I can see they're per uh, they look identical on um, further down on the nasals the, you can see that this the color scheme is a bit different this has more of a like a turquoise color or color to it compared to the Excelsior which is more of a dark blue as far as that goes and then you look on the pylons like I said but and the color the color schemes are a bit different compared to both ships on the pylons but as far as the molding the pylons are identical as well and then you go go toward the back part of the secondary hull the shuttle bay area very similar just the color scheme is going to be a little different on them and then toward the back and this is where there's going to be a little issue um, on my first review of the Excelsior I did mention the differences between as far as the fins moldings back here but I didn't mention that actually on uh, if you look back here there should be a fins co moldings coming out from both sides of the aft nacelles which as you can see is not on this particular release and I did contact Zach from DST and he said that this is the way the ship was made but if you go back and watch uh, the Undiscovered Country or even watch Star Trek 3 uh, if you see even the NX2000, the both ships have this this fin app right on or fin molding actually right on the sides of the nacelles. For me personally, it doesn't really bother me 
that they're not there but if you're a stickler to detail about these things it probably will bother you that it's not there like on Enterprise B you can see it plainly it, it's it's visible there that's that's what it should kind of kind of should look like there's these fins going along the sides but like I said for me it's not a big deal I'm not uh, gonna return it or I'm not gonna make a big deal like I said it doesn't really bother me but for a lot of collectors out there it, it may bother bother them and that's either gonna be a choice you're gonna have to make either picking this up or if they do decide to do a reissue hopefully they will rectify and fix that missing fin pro uh, issue with that but other than that if they're not gonna make a reissue I guess you're gonna just have to uh, deal with it but it's gonna bother a lot of people especially the ones that are into the detail and everything so just wanted to point that out it is missing those uh, fins on the outside of the nacelles there okay so as far as the bottom part of the saucer section they they are pretty much the same it's just the color schemes are a bit different all the molding are exactly the same on both of the bottom part of the saucer section except for like I said the deck these right here and of course the Excelsior does not have them so those would be the only difference as far as the bottom part the secondary hull that's the other major difference the molding on the Enterprise B it's a you have this more of this molding protruding out from the bottom of the as a section here compared to the excels here which is more of a slicked back style which does not feature this molding and it's a bit the uh, enterprise b it's a bit higher as far as the moldings on this one maybe maybe a few uh, millimeters but not not my not by much so that's because of this molding here that would be the difference is there the deflector dish is a bit thinner on the enterprise b compared to the Excelsior it seems like the the, the 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 deflector dish housing is a bit wider. As far as underneath goes, the back part are nearly identical. It's just the paint scheme is a bit different. As you can see, this has more of the blue and the striping in here compared to here, which does not it's not colored in, and you don't have that striping under there. And as far as the bottom part of the pylons, like the the moldings identical, just a different color scheme on there. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So as far as the moldings, like I said, there there's the differences on both ships. The color scheme is gonna be different as well. And the one issue with the the fins on the back of the Excelsior that is missing, that's that's another issue there, but for a lot of collectors, it may bother them. For me, it, it doesn't really bother me. I still like the Excelsior as is. It's still a beautiful ship. And I would recommend picking up either or. So this is a diff uh, this is just my comparison video of both of these particular releases of the Diamond Select Toys Art Asylum collectibles. If you have any questions or comments or if I've missed anything, please let me know as far as any other detailed differences on these two releases. So, okay, this... Other than that, oh yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, New Time Travel Hyman 88. Hopefully this video will help you out in comparing both releases and whether or not to pick up both or either or. Other than that, thank you very much for watching guys. Take it easy.